our goals for the conference this year, probably there's three of them. One is to um, provide an opportunity for people to be deeply troubled by which amazing workshop they're going to go to in each slot. This is one of our favorite, my favorite experiences is people after the conference expressing anger that they had so many good choices to choose from and they couldn't decide which one it was. So um, everything's going to be recorded and you can watch it later. Um, but just having an amazing suite of really intriguing topics to cover is the first um, objective. I think the second objective is to have a space for the community that is beginning to understand these deeper connections and implement them and really is looking to come together. Um, a space for that community to really um, break bread, reconnect, and just to be inspired by really wonderful people, deep and thoughtful, um, that you can have any number of conversations with almost anybody in the, in the place. Um, another one of our regular comments is how you could talk about, you know, epigenetics or microbiome or, you know, raising chickens with just about anybody in the, in the room. I mean, there's just a really, in the whole conference, there's a deep, thoughtful community of, of, of knowledge and practice. Um, and the third agenda, I think, objective is to move forward our strategic movement. Um, to really get people up to speed with where we're at systemically, to bring together the organizations, the networks, the companies, the universities, the practical actions on the ground, um, to really begin to coalesce that, that deeper collaborative movement um, and to leave people with an understanding of you know, how, they can, how they can connect. The potential of the food movement um, is really to be the center of the global people's movement. Um, and it's really exciting how just about everybody eats food and everybody's bodies are made up of what they eat. And so what we're beginning to see after a couple generations, at least in the West, of really insufficient nutrition is, is that we're falling apart. Um, not just physiologically, emotionally, culturally, spiritually, um, you know, politically, and the the opportunity for the food movement is to uh, take leadership collectively in each of our personal lives um, by eating the food that is nutritious to heal ourselves and our families, by eating food that's nutritious to heal the earth um, and the environment, and by doing it together, I say we can heal culture. Um, you know, foundationally, we are what we eat, and junk in, junk out you know, quality in, vitality in, vitality out. Um, so if we can if we can come together around a deeper understanding of what quality is, what vitality is, you know, how to work to, you know, support nature to create it, um, etc. I think we really have the opportunity to to solve most of the world's problems. Um, and really through collaboration and solutions, um, you know, I think it's the time has passed for fighting problems. The time has come for building solutions. And I think the food movement can be the center of that um, in a really inspiring way.